Good morning, everybody. Uh, you know, these days have been getting shorter and shorter. We've got a solar system that runs our house and all that here. And this morning, for the first time in quite a while, it didn't keep up and we ran out of power. Kids are getting ready. Roxy's primping her hair and ran out of power. So we had to start the diesel generator here. But the sun's out now. We're gonna go ahead and shut this generator off. I just wanna show it to you. That's the batteries and they hold a surprising charge. Those things will run the house all night most of the time, but this morning we ran out. So I started that generator. Now to switch back to solar, since the sun's out, all I gotta do is switch one up and one down. Boom. Now we're back on solar when we shut that generator off. That's the solar panels mounted up on top of that container. Works pretty good, but these days are getting short and this morning we ran out. Just gotta idle it down. Idle down for just a second. Shut off that circuit breaker. Cool. That's that. Got the uh, generator right there. Look, there's the fuel line. Comes under here. And runs right over there. Got it tied in. So both tanks right there. So you run that diesel generator quite a bit off those. So lately we're feeding all of our horses around here off of these big bales, kind of the same stuff we feed the cattle. I wanted to notice the mess there is and the waste around there. Now, why is that? Look at this. Evidence. We have a ton of calves getting out of the manger that's all tore up over there. So we're going to put that back together today. That's the plan. We've got to run back to the house for a minute. I just got a text message from our banker saying he needs Laura to call him about some stuff with some loans. So we'll go give her the good news and have her give him a call. We'll get back out in the yard and do what we do. <laughs> What are you doing in the house, you little rascal? Dang rabbit running around the house. <laughs> oh, yes. I Okay, yes, I do. You do. Um, I can't. Yes, I can. I can. I did it. Well, it looks like Mr. Banker was able to get a hold of Lara, so let's get out of the house and go do something. Lucky for me, Rio and Riley both happened to have the stomach flu this morning and decided not to go to school, but I'm going to put them to work. They don't look too sick to help me. They're just dragging up some pipe that we're going to use to try to patch up this feed bunk, get these calves to quit escaping and torturing everything in the yard. Good news and bad news. The good news is some kids are sick with the stomach flu and they're here to help today. So we got help. Bad news is this, check it out. I don't know if you've noticed these calves all out in the yard all the dang time lately. I've been tearing up our horse hay bales, crapping all over everything, causing all kinds of ruckus. Here's been the problem. We've got one rail on our feed bunk right here that's all tore up. And the reason I haven't fixed it already is because we are right here next to 
the lifeblood of our operation right now. I've been so worried about starting a fire while welding and have that fire get over into that hay barn and burn it all down, which would basically mean the end of me, literally. So I've been putting off and putting off and these calves have been taking advantage of me, getting out every day, making a mess, irritating the heck out of me. I've been doing something I hate, which is patching it daily with this hay string, which is a terrible, terrible thing to do. I hate doing that and I'm done with it. Today, while I've got the helpers here, we're gonna repair and replace some of that one rail that's tore up. <clears throat> My idea is to get these boys with some five gallon buckets carried over here from the water trough. I think if I've got them right there with a bucket of water watching me while I'm welding, and if they don't give those sparks any kind of chance, just drown them as basically as soon as they hit the ground, Hopefully we can keep from making a fire, get that rail put back up, stop these calves from abusing me every day and getting out. And hopefully the main thing is do not burn down the haystack. Oh, please no. Okay, what we've got here is a piece of galvanized pipe that fits nicely right inside of the pipe we're using for rails. So what we're gonna do is cut a handful of little five or six inch pieces here to slide inside and make our joints when we hook that other pipe together. Doesn't have to be any kind of exact length, just put her in there and chop off little five or six inch chunks. Should have safety glasses though. Take them on the grinding wheel right here and take that take that burr off the edge. See, it's got a burr on it. It won't slide easily. Take that burr off and somewhat bevel that edge just a teeny bit so that it'll slide easily inside of our fence rail. Yes, to start the welder, we do have to jump it. It needs a new alternator and a new battery.
Hey, Ridgey Bugs. Hi. How you doing? Good. What are you working on? Dirt. Yeah. What are you gonna do with the dirt? I'm gonna take it over to the dump. You're gonna take it over to the dump. What do you got in your hand? What? A knife. Where'd you get the knife? France gave it to you. Okay. Have you cut any hay strings with it? You will soon. Okay. What's that other thing in your hand? Oh, that's good. Yep. Alright, bye. Bye. Well, I have discovered one positive thing about my stupid hay string fix. This one's got that fence rail held right where I need it, so I'm going to go ahead and weld it right where it's tied. Got some curious calves over here wanting to get some welding lessons. They might be getting it from the wrong guy, though. We've got Rio right here on Spark Patrol. He's going to keep an eye on these sparks and not let any of them get going. We do not need to burn that haystack down. Keep that in mind. Every time I go to drag my welding leads forward, I got these dang calves standing on it. It's kind of a pain. I would like to rebuild this out of new materials and make it right, but today we've got it patched together and I think it's going to keep these calves in, which will be nice. So we just got done welding up that rail fence. Now we've got to go put the calves in and hope they stay in. Let's see how this goes. Get the gate, Reggie. So we got the gate set right there so we can bring them in right on the other side. We can bring them in, we got this gate set. So we're gonna go all around the yard and get all the calves. Look, you like getting the calves in? You got something stuck in your teeth? Okay, you got it out. All right, let's go get cows, right? Yeah. Make
with hush tags and cows in the pen. Bye! Pop out, friends!